The Georgia Aquarium is a public aquarium in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. It houses more than 100,000 animals and represents several thousand species, all of which reside in 10 million U.S. gallons cubic meters of marine and salt water. It was the largest aquarium in the world from its opening in 2005 until 2012, when it was surpassed by Marine Life Park in Singapore. A $250 million donation from the foundation of local businessman and Home Depot founder Bernard Marcus provided the bulk of the funding needed to build and stock the new facility. The aquarium's notable specimens include whale sharks, beluga whales, California sea lions, bottlenose dolphins, and manta rays. History In November 2001, Bernard Marcus announced his vision of presenting Atlanta with an aquarium that would encourage both education and economic growth. After visiting 56 aquariums in 13 countries with his wife, Billy, Marcus he donated $250 million toward what was to become Georgia Aquarium. Corporate contributions totaling an additional $40 million allowed the aquarium to open debt-free. Jeff Swanigan, the aquarium's founding president and executive director until 2008, is largely credited with the creation of the aquarium. From the design of the structure to the procurement of animals for the exhibits, the aquarium is in downtown Atlanta on land donated by the Coca-Cola Company, just north of Centennial Olympic Park. Its blue metal and glass exterior is meant to evoke a giant arc breaking through a wave. The world's largest when it opened in November 2005, the aquarium encompassed 550,000 square feet 5.1 hectares, 13 acres of covered space and its exhibits held 8 million U.S. gallons 30 million L of fresh and salt water. Subsequent additions to the collection and redesign of some habitats have increased the total water held to 10 million US gallons, 38 million L. After 27 months of construction, the aquarium opened with 60 animal habitats. Though the non-profit aquarium's admission charges are among the highest in the United States, attendance has far exceeded expectations, with 1 million visitors in the first 100 days, 3 million by August 2006, 5 million by May 2007, and 10 million by June 2009. The aquarium is part of the Smithsonian Affiliations Program. And the Association of Zoos and Aquariums Topic. Collection The Georgia Aquarium contains more than 100,000 animals, representing 700 species of fish and other sea creatures. The aquarium was designed around a 6.3 million U.S. gallon cubic meters whale shark exhibit, making it the only institution outside of Asia that houses the giant species. The zoo animals' importation from Taiwan by air, truck, and boat had never been attempted previously. They were taken from Taiwan's annual fishing kill quota, under which they would have been eaten had they not been purchased by the aquarium. The aquarium's most famous specimens were four youngsters named Ralph, Norton, Alice, and Trixie, after the primary characters from The Honeymooners. Ralph and Norton died in 2007, but that same year the aquarium received two replacements, Taroko, commemorating Taroko Gorge National Park, and Yushan, after Taiwan's Jade Mountain, just before a ban on capture of that species took effect. The aquarium is one of only four sites in the world displaying a manta ray. Nandi, its first, and the first manta ray on display in the country, was accidentally caught in nets protecting the South African coast from sharks. She joined the Ocean Voyager exhibit in 2008. A second, Tallulah, was added in September 2009. Joined in 2010 by female named Billy. And in 2012 by a male. The animals range in size from 10 to 13 feet wingspans, 3 to 4 meters. Topic: <inaudible> Beluga whales. The aquarium has been home to as many as 5 11 foot 3 meters beluga whales at once. Its captive breeding program has not proven successful. Males Nico and Gaspar, acquired from an amusement park in Mexico, were joined by three females on breeding loan from the New York Aquarium, Marina, Natasha and Natasha's daughter, Maris. 
After Gaspar and Marina died in 2007, the Belugas were transferred to SeaWorld San Antonio, where Nico died in 2009. In 2010, Maris and a new male, Beethoven, were returned to the Georgia Aquarium while Natasha remains with a potential mate in San Antonio. Two young belugas, Grayson male and Kinu female, also from San Antonio, were added in November 2010. Before transferring to the Shedd Aquarium in 2014, Beethoven fathered calves with Maris in 2012 and 2015, neither of which survived. Maris died of a heart defect in 2015. In 2016, Grayson was sent to Shedd Aquarium while SeaWorld Orlando's Auric and Maple and Shedd Aquarium's Nunavik arrived on loan at Georgia Aquarium. In June 2017, Georgia Aquarium announced that Kinu was pregnant with her first calf, sired by Auric, and was due in the fall of 2017. In September 2017, Auric was transferred to Shedd Aquarium on a breeding loan. On November 8, 2017, the aquarium announced that Chinu's calf had died from complications during birth. In 2012, the beluga whale Maris gave birth to a female calf. After less than a week, the calf, who was born underweight, died. Although mortality rates of calves born to first time mothers is extremely high, even in wild populations, Maris's second calf born on Mother's Day in 2015 would survive less than a month. Maris died in October of the same year, reigniting the debate as to whether the captive beluga breeding program was humane or successful. In 2015, the aquarium applied to import 18 belugas from Russia. It had previously placed an order for their capture and planned to send them on breeding loans to partnered parks such as Shedd Aquarium and SeaWorld, though SeaWorld ultimately opted out of the agreement. However, the permit was denied by the National Marine Fisheries Service, prompting Georgia Aquarium to sue. In September 2015, a federal district court ruled that Georgia Aquarium failed to demonstrate that its permit would not result in the taking of additional animals beyond those authorized by the permit, and that the denial would stand. Exhibits <inaudible> 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 The aquarium's animals are displayed in seven galleries and exhibits, Tropical Diver, Ocean Voyager, Cold Water Quest, River Scout, Dolphin Celebration, Pier 225, and Aquanaut Adventure, a Discovery Zone. Each corresponds to a specific environment. <laughs> <laughs> Original exhibits The first exhibit, Southern Company River Scout, reflects regional environments. It features an overhead river where visitors can see North American fish from the bottom up. In addition to local specimens, this exhibit displays piranha, electric eel, and other unusual freshwater life. The second section of the aquarium, Cold Water Quest, features animals from the polar and temperate regions of the world and contains most of the mammal species in the aquarium's collection. This exhibit includes beluga whales in a 760,000 U.S. gallons L tank, sea otter, Japanese spider crab, weedy sea dragon, and African penguin. The largest exhibit, Ocean Voyager built by Home Depot, contains 6.3 million U.S. gallon L of water and several thousand fish. It measures 284 feet times 126 feet, 87 meters times 38 meters, and the depth ranges between 20 and 30 feet, 6.1 and 9.1 meters, making it the largest indoor aquatic habitat in the world. This exhibit is designed to feature the life of the Mesoamerican barrier reef system and showcases the aquarium's whale sharks, as well as a 100 feet, 30 meters underwater acrylic tunnel and one of the world's largest viewing windows. The fourth exhibit, Tropical Diver, features mainly Indo-Pacific tropical fish. The largest habitat in the exhibit is a 164,000 U.S. gallon L artificial reef featuring many species of fish. The aquarium also cultivates its own coral, some of which can be seen in the exhibit. Other animals include seahorses, garden eel, jellyfish, clownfish, blue-spotted ribbon-tail ray, shrimp, lobsters, and red lionfish. The SunTrust Georgia Explorer Gallery included a number of fish native to Georgia and areas off its coast. It was closed in 2015 to make way for the SunTrust Pier 225. 
Topic added exhibits The AT&T Dolphin Celebration A 1,800,000 U.S. gallons gallery, is the aquarium's second largest exhibit, and houses the indoor dolphin stadium. Opened in April 2011 behind Cold Water Quest and River Scout, it is the first of the aquarium's newer additions and holds 13 bottlenose dolphins, though this number fluctuates from time to time. The show lasts about 20 to 30 minutes and includes an informative, educational videos about the dolphins 30 minutes before the show. Admission is included in general fee. The SunTrust Pier 22 gallery holds only California sea lions. Among its six animals individuals named Jupiter and Neptune were rescued in the 2015 mass sea lion stranding in California. This exhibit also offers scheduled presentations about the species. The Aquanaut Adventure, a discovery zone, the aquarium's newest gallery, contains several smaller exhibits and multiple hands on activities, including an augmented reality scavenger hunt using the aquarium's mobile app. The aquarium also features a 4D movie and a virtual reality simulator, which takes guests on a trip through prehistoric seas for an additional fee. Also, in 2009, the Titanic Aquatic exhibit opened, which features a walk through simulation of the ship RMS Titanic. The aquarium then hosted the world debut of Planet Shark, Predator or Prey, the exhibition. The exhibit focused on dispelling myths and sharing facts to help create a better understanding of sharks. It was open through April 2011 and featured shark jaws, teeth and fossils, full-scale shark models made from real specimens and more. Research and conservation According to founder Bernard Marcus, the aquarium's conservation and environmental mission is equal in importance to its role as an attraction. Before opening, the aquarium was already working with Georgia Tech and Georgia State University in Atlanta and the University of Georgia in Athens to help save endangered species through education and research programs. The acquisition of the male beluga whales, previously suffering in an inadequate environment, was hailed by Marcus as a prime example of the type of conservation activities the aquarium should be involved with. Roughly 100 tarpons stranded in a tidal pool at Skidaway Island, off the Georgia coast, were rescued for the collection. Coral used in exhibits at the aquarium is grown in a collaboration between Georgia Tech and the University of the South Pacific, produced by suspending blocks of pumice over a reef near the village of Tagak, Fiji for eight months to allow seaweeds and reef invertebrates to establish colonies. Template, what about coral itself? The aquarium is involved in research initiatives that focus on whale sharks in the Yucatan Peninsula, beluga whales in Alaska, penguins in South Africa, manatees in Quintana Roo, Mexico, loggerhead sea turtles on the Georgia coast, and spotted eagle rays in Sarasota, Florida. Its newest research project centers on bottlenose dolphins in the Indian River Lagoon. As permanent residents at the top of the lagoon's food chain they are indicators of its environmental health. The aquarium is partnering with Florida Atlantic University and the federal government to monitor the health of these animals, as well as identify potential threats from pollution and emerging infectious diseases. Topic new facilities and programs In May 2008, the aquarium announced plans to build a $110 million expansion for a new dolphin exhibit. The expansion covers 84,000 square feet, 7,800 square meters, and contains 1.8 million US gallons, 6,800,000 L of water. Located on the west side of the facility, the exhibit features space for live presentations, observation windows, and opportunities for visitors to interact with animals. Construction began later in 2008 and was completed in late 2010. During part of the construction, the aquarium's three beluga whales were temporarily relocated to SeaWorld San Antonio. Beluga whales are very sensitive to sound, and while officials had not noted any excessive amounts of stress, it was decided to remove them anyway and eliminate the possibility. Unexpectedly, one of the three belugas, Nico, died at SeaWorld on October 31, 2009. A preliminary necropsy was unable to determine if Nico's death was caused by the move or by something else. The AT&T Dolphin Celebration show opened to the public on April 2, 2011, and has been controversial. In 2016, the aquarium changed the format of the show to make it more educational. 
On January 1, 2011, the aquarium purchased Marineland of Florida for a reported $9.1 million. The seller was Jim Jacoby, a Metro Atlanta developer and member of the Georgia Aquarium Board of Directors, who bought the park in 2004 and redeveloped it. In 2018, the aquarium announced its largest expansion to date, a $100 million, 45,000 square foot endeavor featuring a new 1 million U.S. gallons, 3,800,000 L saltwater shark gallery and redesigned main entrance, planned to be completed in late fall 2020. Some animals which will be housed in this exhibit include scalloped hammerhead sharks, silvertip shark, sandbar shark, sand tiger shark and the tiger shark. A temporary entrance will be constructed by the end of 2018 to facilitate construction. In February 2019, it was revealed that TV network Animal Planet will debut a show featuring the Georgia Aquarium. The show, called The Aquarium, will showcase the Georgia Aquarium's interactions with their animals and their conservation efforts. The show is shooting in early 2019 and premiered in May 2019. Topic Images equals equals notes. <laughs>